it took me a very, very long time to figure out a way to create my own happiness. I think a lot of what I struggled with is I was ignoring my own happiness. My brain was finding ways to, you know, make it so I wasn't happy or I didn't think it was a good time. And I mean, I think overall, the biggest thing that helped me was reaching out to people. I mean, reach out to my parents, reach out to close friends. It's not like I walk around with a sign on my chest every day saying, hey, I'm depressed, you know, treat me differently. I mean, I think that was my biggest fear about when I first started reaching out. Born and raised in Jackson, Michigan. I really liked my childhood. I spent a lot of time outside. My mom raised my brother and I kind of like how she was raised, where she'd kick us outside and tell us to go play games, go play some sports, and you know she'll let us know when dinner's ready. Anything that kept us outside the house and active. Oh, definitely a sport-driven childhood. Really fun, I was always busy. I've always been a pretty happy, cheery kid. I just tried to always be happy and smiley and focus on trying to make other people happy. And I kind of morphed into this weirdly outdoorsy nature guy. And I've always kind of said I get along better with trees than I do with people for the most part. I really just like the calming presence it brings to me. It's like I have conversations with people without having conversations. It's just kind of peaceful and quiet. And I mean, I really like learning about how incredibly interesting everything around us is. Here comes Fargo coming up strong. Excuse me. And again, it's the Smirnoff line and deep a shot and a goal. And that's going to be Brody Stevens. He came whipping in, showed his feet on the right wing. Junior is pretty much the path for anyone that wants to play college hockey. Ever since I was about 12, 13, 14, I knew that I was gonna have to move away from home at a younger age and go play against older guys, play better hockey. And it's a pathway for you to help expose yourself to college coaches. Started my first year at the National Team Development Program as one of the reserve players, which was really cool. I got to stay in Ann Arbor. After that first year there, I left and went to Fargo. I really loved Fargo. I think that's part of my outdoorsman kind of started. I spent a lot of time fishing outdoors and that was just a really, really cool experience to be able to live in North Dakota for a year and a half. And then I ended up getting traded and I lived in Madison, Wisconsin. And then my final year of juniors, I got to play in uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Brody Stevens centering a back door, they score! I struggled a little bit away from being home. I used to just really kind of struggle with staying on task with things and staying mentally strong. There's a couple years where I had uh, some pretty tough times. The winters got pretty tough for me and I would uh, really struggle with kind of being able to open up to people. It's just a very weird experience being able to get traded at any moment, being able to get taken away from you know, all of your friends, the people you're living with that you're becoming close with. I mean, there wasn't really a huge sense of security, so it was really hard to necessarily open up and try to make a place a home. It just sometimes just kind of felt like you were always just visiting a place because there is not really any security for keeping you in one place at the time. This is gonna lead to punches being thrown and penalties. Stevens with a right hand to cut. I was fighting a lot, I was, you know, being the big tough guy, I was protecting other people and I didn't want to show any weaknesses. So that was kind of how I, I just learned to bury it and not talk about it. And I just thought, you know, I was just being weird, you know, maybe it's just the winter blues or whatever. And big tough bruiser guy, you know, didn't really want to seem weak or, you know, seem too emotional and just really struggled with being able to be anything close to happy. Pretty good haymakers there for a little bit, and now get some time to go cool off in the penalty box. Oh, come in. It was kind of funny because with my entire family going to Michigan, I don't think uh, a lot of people expected me to end up wearing green and white. 
I explored a lot of my options and it really came down to the people I was going to be surrounded with on a daily basis. You know, the guys that are in my class right now are some of my best friends and this place felt like a family to me. That first freshman year just really hit hard and I came off as happy and I had, you know, moments of happiness, but there's just a really, I mean, really, really long time where it didn't necessarily feel like I experienced it at all. Probably around January, I actually got called into Coach Cole's office. It was just me and him and he locked the door and pretty much sat me down and told me I had to tell him what was going on. It's kind of when I broke down and not really what I expected it, how it to come out or turn around, but it was kind of good for me because I mean, he forced it out of me and I got to, I had never really opened up about those thoughts or feelings before. I didn't know it was visual and obviously the coaching staff had noticed it and guys on the team had noticed it. And I mean, DC did a good job of forcing it out of me. And I mean, I ended up finding some help there for Doc Rosen and you know, the support staff here at Michigan State. Stevens, all by himself down the middle of the yes! shoots and scores! Oh, Brody Stevens. What a shot! He had mustard and relish on that. I have uh, seasonal affective disorder syndrome. I call it SADS for short. I have a uh, chemical imbalance in my brain. If I don't get enough sunlight, my brain starts producing a chemical that is linked with what bears go into hibernation with. It affects my mood, my emotions. It's just everything just becomes kind of meaningless to someone. It's called a uh, happy lamp, which is a lamp that emits a certain amount of lumens, which is exactly what my brain needs to create the chemical to help make me happy. During the months of the year that I feel down, it's something I sit in front of and it helps me. It's really crazy that I felt so connected to nature for so long and then I found out that my brain's chemical balance pretty much is decided on how much time I spend outside in the light. The happy lamp for me is something that I use, you know, rainy days, cold days, days I don't have a lot of time to go outside, but obviously my original happy lamp was the sun. And we talk a lot to them, you know, hey, expand those horizons a little bit. And whether, you know, whether you're joining a club or, or doing something or finding your interest that's, that's outside of hockey is, is a good thing. And Brody's a great case for that. Loves being outdoors and through his job, he's got to do some, some uh, work study stuff over the summer. And, you know, that's one of the great things about a, a campus like Michigan State. I mean, you can, you, you've got the city right there, you've got the country right there. You know, there's a lot of different uh, avenues to, to get out and enjoy those things, and he certainly has. And, uh, you know, from a leadership-wise, it's, it's great having a guy like that. Me and Tommy Miller, Gino Espez, we've driven out to, you know, Grand Ledge just to go watch a sunset. You know, we just kind of, we try to find ways to make sure that we don't just get trapped in our own little world here. And we still get to experience that great big outdoors and that whole other world that's exposed to us at all moments. I think a lot of what can isolate people with depression is the fact that a lot of people don't want to talk about it. I mean, they don't want to check in on someone that's depressed because they think it's going to trigger their depression just to be able to talk about it. Definitely the more a conversation is held about being depressed and struggling with depression, I think it helps people who do struggle with it feel more comfortable having it. It makes them feel more normal and it makes them feel more just like everyone else. You can find your own personal happiness. I mean, it's just hopefully be able to reach out to anyone that's struggling with it.